What's up ladies and gentlemen, Shaderade back <laughs> with another video, and I am drunk as fuck. Uh, my dad's been in town for the past three days, and it's his birthday and shit, so we've just been trashed. Um, but I figured I need to make another video because I still do not have my fucking Ryzen 5 2400G processor up and working. But um, I'm sure a lot of you are probably having the same issue I am, because nobody fucking warned us. Uh, so here's... Here's what your options are to fix your Ryzen 5 2400G or your Ryzen 3 2200G uh, boot issues with your motherboard not reading it. Um, so basically, you got about four different options. Uh, first option, being the shittiest one, you go out and you buy like a $60 A6-9500 APU processor. Um... And drop it into your motherboard and use that to try and update your BIOS and shit like that. It's the cheapest AM4 socket processor that I could find. Um, not the best option. Uh, let's see. Second option. You can try and find a place in town that you can take your computer into or your motherboard into that might have an AM4 socket that would drop it into your motherboard and update it for you. Uh, it just depends on how much they charge because like I said, you can buy... The other processor for 60 bucks. The one PC place I went to in town who are apparently Intel fanboys because they don't even deal with AMD whatsoever. ever. They want to charge 80 bucks for like anything they do. It's like, dude, I can go buy a brand new fucking processor for 60. I'm not going to pay you 80 to drop a fucking processor into my motherboard and update it for me. So those are your two crappiest options. Um, the two good options. First one um, would be to take your motherboard out of your fucking case, if you don't have it installed in your case, that's even better, and you can ship it back to your uh, motherboard manufacturer, and do a, you have to do like a warranty, you know, RMA or whatever it is, you know, ship it back, You're, you have to pay for the shipping back to them, they will update it, flash it, test it, you know, for the most part, at least MSI will, I called them, talked to two different people, and they said they'd, they'd pop a Ryzen 5 2400G in there, test it, make sure it all worked and everything before they sent it back to me, but it would take about a week. Um, which I was hoping not to have to wait a week for it. So my the fourth option is you contact AMD. Um, AMD has absolutely one of the crappiest fucking websites I've ever seen for warranty, like, you know, procedures or whatever. Like, I can't even go in and try and, like, look up my ticket number that they gave me anywhere on their website. I've tried to search every single corner of it or whatever. It's horrible. So, but you can go on, you go into, the, like, the warranty page and go into, you know, file a claim, blah, blah, pick your processor, type in the Ryzen 2400G, and apparently you type in boot kit required um, is what they want you to say. My first one, I didn't know that that's, a, that's what AMD wants you to tell them is boot kit required. Apparently it's a very specific like, article they put out, blah, blah. But I put in like, you know, my Ryzen 5 2400G won't boot with my X370, you know, blah, blah, please send me a replacement APU because I knew that's what I heard. That's what they were doing. And then I read an article later that they said, you know, specifically type in boot kit required. So I went back and filed another fucking claim, you know, and it all goes to the same thing. I said, this is my original ticket, boot kit required. So I haven't heard anything. I filed it like I think Friday night at like three in the morning. Um, they didn't respond Saturday, they haven't responded today, which is Sunday, so I'm hoping to hear something back from tomorrow that they've shipped me a fucking little cheap, like, A6 or A8 processor to be able to upgrade my processor, and it doesn't cost you anything, you just gotta ship it back to them when it's done, but it's a, it's a processor, or, or a box processor, you know, it can't be that much fucking money to ship it back, a couple bucks, um, but that's the cheapest option, and hopefully the quickest, so I'm hoping that they got my, you know, my, my stuff over the weekend and they've already like maybe boxed it up and got it ready to ship out or some shit. And they just didn't, you know, send me an email because like I said, obviously they're not that great at the warranty process or customer service or anything like that because their website is pretty garbage. Um, but other than that, those are pretty much the four options I found. So you either go spend your own money on a processor and then end up having a backup processor. Or if you live somewhere where maybe a Fry's is, you know, talk to them about what their return policy is. I actually talked to the guy at MSI uh, for my motherboard, and that's what he recommended to me. He's like, dude, if you live by a Fry's, go into Fry's, ask them what their return policy is. And if you can return it because you don't like it, you know, or it's not the... It's not as good as you thought it was going to be. Go buy the processor, drop it in, update your shit, and then just go back and return the shit, you know, immediately and say it didn't work as good as I thought it was going to be and I don't like it. Um, so that might actually be a better option for you. If you live somewhere where they sell AM4 socket processors, you might be able to get away with going in, buying one, 
updating your shit and then just returning it and getting store credit or maybe even all your money back, whatever, that, however that works. But, you know, check first before you do that because it would suck if you just get stuck with a processor unless you plan on building another cheap little crappy PC and you don't mind using the A6 or the AA APU, which is nothing close to what the Ryzen 2200G is, you know, by any standard. Um, but if you can buy it and return it, Go for it. That's your quickest freaking option right there. I wish I could. I don't live anywhere near a Fry's. I'm in Florida, and the next closest Fry's is all the way up in, like, Georgia or some shit. So Best Buy doesn't sell processors. Walmart doesn't sell processors. There's no more HH Greggs or Circuit Cities or any of that shit anymore. Pretty much all of those are out of business. So I'm stuck. I've already called MSI. I did my RMA with them. You know, they gave me the form to be able to send my motherboard back, but I'm waiting to hear from AMD first because if they're just going to send me a processor... That would be my quickest option for the most part, I'm hoping, you know. So, um, that's pretty much all I have for you, you know. Good, you know, good luck. I hope I, I, I hope I can help at least one other person in the same freaking situation I'm in where I just freaking built my first PC and I can't even use the damn thing. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. You know, if you want to see what happens next when... I find out whether AMD is going to contact me or I just got to ship my freaking shit back to MSI and have them do it for me. Um, I'll post a video as soon as I can. Uh, thank you. Have a good night. And uh, good luck.